a last show because I meant to do this on Halloween, so I apologize for taking so long. But I promise you guys this. Uh, for now on, I'm going to be posting a new video every Tuesday, so check out on your, on your notifications and inbox, and you'll see me, my pretty self. Oh, and by the way, this costume um, that, that I'm wearing, I wore this um, for, um, for Halloween, and I wanted to show off what you guys, um, uh, what, what I was, so don't mind this. This is just my natural beauty. <laughs> Anywho, today on, on, a, on my show, I'm going to be talking about this little lady. Hold on. Hold on. Ta-da! I'm going to be talking about her today. Beauty and the Beast. You know, one second. But yeah, this, li this little lady right here. Last week, well, last time I, I did this, I talked about Cinderella, so... I'm going to do a new video with another Disney princess, and as you um, guys just saw, it's going to be Beauty and the Beast. And honestly, Beauty and the Beast has a really, really, really interesting um, um, history, I'm going to tell you guys right now. So pretty much Beauty and the Beast was produced by Disney in 1991, which is around the time that my cousin was born. And Pretty much not when I was born. I was born in 1996. <laughs> but um, also Belle is the fifth Disney princess to ever be created. And believe it or not, Belle was actually created by Disney. Like, come on. You guys probably should already know this. <laughs> Little joke. Okay, I, oh, this is kind of weird. But anywho... So, Beauty and the Beast, um, believe it or not, was based off of a ancient Greek um, story named um, called Eros and Psyche. Um, Eros and Psyche. And for those um, pe um, people who do not know who Eros is, he is the god of love, the son of Aphrodite, which is the love goddess of beauty and love and sexual desire. For any y'all single people um, um, who's single, hit me up. I'm <laughs> just joking with y'all. Anyway, so I'm going to kind of breeze past um, um, the story of Beauty and the Beast, and I will do a different um, um, video if you guys were interested in the actual um, story of what it was based on, because today I'm just going to talk about what it, where it came from. So, without further ado, here is the story of Psyche and Eros. Once upon a time, long time ago, in ancient Greek, was a beautiful princess named Psyche. But everybody um, pretty much deemed her as a deity and pretty much was worshipping her um, as, um, as, the, as the goddess of beauty. But Aphrodite, as y'all know, ain't having that bull, um, that bull crap and decided to pretty much punish her by telling her son Eros to punish her by making her fall in love with a hideous beast that would be that would be responsible for her death. So Eros was like, nah, it's alright, Ma, I got I got it. I'll come um 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 give this girl um you know, do her in. <laughs> but when he goes to her um, um to her um bedroom, he's like, Ooh, she is a fine P um PYT and pretty much decides um, pretty much falls in love with her and decides to not hurt her, but she, but he falls in love with her. So, pretty much, Psyche got a love goddess, a love god, sorry, to fall for her. Yeah, I wish I had a god um, that will love, that will love me. <laughs> Anywho, so Psyche had two other sisters, which which was pretty much jealous of her. But they pretty much kind of clowned her when when they both got married um, to to rich and beautiful um, and powerful kings, while Psyche was single. But as I already told you guys, Eros fell in love with her, and so he wanted her basically. So he told so he told um, um her father like, "Fool, let loose your daughter. I want her. Bring her to my castle." And so he did. He left Psyche um, 
on that at his castle just for um, for e for Eros to basically have some fun with her. <laughs> but the funny thing about it is that Eros only came to Psyche when it was dark, so he kind of liked to be a little freaky and only come to Psyche when it's really dark. And so they get into bed, you know, have a little R and R. <laughs> but by the time morning comes, he's already gone. Yeah, Psyche, I'm pretty sure you don't need the morning after pills. <laughs> Just joking. Anyway, so Psyche um, pretty much had doubts in herself because her sisters was like, like, girl, your husband um, um, is a monster and that's why he comes to you at night. So I'm pretty sure he's just waiting um, to bite your head off. And I'm like, and then Psyche's probably like, what? Really? He's gonna bite my head off and kill me? So I'm gonna probably see who, um, um, who this fool um, really um, looks like and I'm gonna stab him and, sli and slice his throat out. And that's what Psyche did. Only thing that she found out that her husband was not a monster, but yet a, a, a fine hunky um, man with wings. And I'm like, man, you ain't no monster. You a sexy fine, um, fine piece, piece of slice cake. And so she decided to not kill him but an oil from the lamp pretty much burns Omiros and wakes him up. And then, and then he gets shocked and was like, oh, Man, girl, you trying to kill me? Like, um, like, like what is this? T um, Ike and Tina Turner? Like, what the hell is this? <laughs> so then he flows away and, and it was like, Girl, you don't trust me? Fine. I'll ne I'll, you'll never see me again. But Psyche was like, Oh no, husband, please don't leave me. But he flew away anyway. So, you know, um, um, Aphrodite's probably pissed because it's like, you know, like, girl, you hurt, you hurt my son. You think that I'm, that I'm gonna help you um, um, get back with them, girl? You need um, um to prove to me that you're worth that you're worth my time and my son's time. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a runaround. And so Psyche pretty much did whatever um, Aphrodite did, and blah blah blah. In a nutshell, she pretty much almost died. Talk about um some jealous mo um, mother-in-law. Y'all ever seen Monster-in-Law? Well, Aphrodite's just like her. But um anyway, so pretty much Eros fi um finds um Psyche and was like, oh babe, babe, I know I'm sorry that I left you and I let and I and I let and I let my jerk of a of a mom to torture you. I'll never let her um torture you again. Let's get back together. Let's get married. Um um have have some fun with each other and give birth to a girl named Hedney. And that's what they did. And essentially they live happily ever after and that was the end. So what would you guys um, think about that story? And now I have a question for you guys. Was like, who was really wrong here? Was it um, that Aphrodite was wrong? Or was it um, that Psyche um, was wrong? Like y'all let me know in the comments um, section so we can get this conversation um, started. Also, ne and also next week, I'm gonna be talking about a, li a little bit about another Disney princess, but I'm gonna leave um, you guys to decide which Disney princess I should talk about next. So, on that note, I am Princess Ocean Miss, AKA Harley Quinn. I am over and out. See you guys soon.